at CA Technologies don't just upgrade and walk away. In step four, we verify things are working correctly with no loss of functionality and verify that new functionality is working as expected. The first thing we do are the final configurations. Some integrations and customizations might require post-upgrade configuration in order to operate correctly. Then we look closely at the new functionality to make sure it's working as expected. Since all of these have higher impact during an upgrade, it's also critical to prove they work after the upgrade, which means that post-upgrade configurations and new functionality should be verified by tests, including the pre-upgrade verification tests that we performed in the deployment staging step. These might be automated scripts or done with manual tasks. Okay, we've just taken a look at the four steps that we use in the CA upgrade methodology. So whether you choose to upgrade your environment on your own or use CA, let your CA support representative know that you're starting the process so that we can help you. There might be some FAQs or knowledge base articles they can direct you to to help you with your process. Watch these videos again and think about the things we've discussed. Apply these same types of methodology and address these same issues in your own upgrade plan. While the steps to upgrade might be the same, there is so much more to think about in planning. Do these things and go to this level of rigor, whether it's us or you, and be sure of a good clean upgrade. For more detailed information about how to get started with your CA UIM upgrade, click on any of these links to be directed to CA services, CA product documentation, or to CA support to learn more about how to accelerate your upgrade.